Which mapping method should I use? There are two main workflows for projection mapping your house. The first I call the outline method and the second I call the orthographic method. The outline method involves drawing lines on your house from your projector, which builds up a picture of your house with the projector's point of view baked in. You then design your show over this line guide so that when you send it back out of the projector in the same position, your designs match onto the house. The orthographic method involves creating a flat guide of your house that doesn't contain perspective. You design your show over this flat guide and then use projection mapping software to warp the flat content to fit the perspective of your projector. I want to be clear that when it comes to house mapping, it's useful to distinguish between two stages, the mapping stage and the show design stage. The mapping stage is what makes it projection mapping and not just pointing a projector at a house. It's the stage where you ensure the video content fits or maps uniquely onto specific surfaces. Then there is also the show design stage. This is where you create animations, effects, or edit video that becomes the show that you project. A key difference between the two mapping methods, the outline method and the orthographic method, is that the order in which you complete the stages is flipped. With the outline method, you do the mapping stage first and the show design second. In the mapping stage, you create an outline guide with the perspective baked in that's custom to your house and projector position. You then design that perspective into your show. Mapping first, show design second. For the orthographic method, you do the show design stage first and the mapping stage second. You design your show free of perspective, flat onto your orthographic guides. Then you use software to warp the content and introduce the perspective afterwards. Show design first, mapping second. Each of these methods have their advantages and disadvantages. Some people prefer the outline method because it's more intuitive and straightforward. The majority of beginners use this method. One disadvantage of this method is that the projector must stay in the same position from which you made your outlines. You also need to put perspective into your content yourself manually. Additionally, you need to make your outlines with your projector outside at night, which can be cold and tedious. Although I have a tutorial for a quick method of doing this. Other people prefer the orthographic method. The main negative is that it is more complex and takes more time to set up at the outset, but it does have advantages. It enables you to create your designs on a flat guide and worry about perspective later. This method also gives you flexibility because you're not locked into your projector position and can use the same video designs with multiple projectors. And you can utilize pixels more efficiently within your projector's resolution space. Unlike with the outline method where many pixels are often wasted. With this method, you also don't need to spend so much time outside in the cold. This is my preferred method and I have a series of tutorials on how to do it. So please take a look at those if you want to know more. There is actually also a third option for projection mapping your house, and that is using a semi-automated projection solution like the Luxedo system. The system is marketed as an all-in-one solution. The projector is controlled remotely and comes inside its own weatherproof enclosure and is ready to connect to speakers via Bluetooth. In terms of workflow, the Luxedo option is a kind of hybrid of the outline method, which builds a picture from your projector's point of view, and within its proprietary software, you can build your show on top of this picture. Luxedo takes quite a lot of the hassle out of the process. For example, you don't have to make the outlines yourself and you don't have to worry about making your own weatherproof enclosure. On the negative side, the Luxedo system is relatively expensive at the current time and the projector is lacking a bit in resolution. If this video helped you, say thanks by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next video.